Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Word. What I would like to look at in this session is some of the new features that have just been released by Microsoft. The first one is Learning Tools and the Immersive Reader. If you select the View tab and then go to this section of the ribbon where it says Immersive, you've got two buttons there. One says Immersive Reader and one says Focus. Different versions of Word have different buttons here, so it depends which version you have as to what you'll see. But if I click on this one, it then gives me a screen with a few tools. Now my colour has already gone to this colour because you can select different page colours. If you find it quite bright when you're reading, which I sometimes do if I've been doing it a long time, white can suddenly seem very irritating so one of these other pastoral colors may be what you want to do select one of these and then it's not as bad um, to read but the first one there is column width you've got the option to adjust these like so and then you've got this focus line if I come down on this one so if I go for one line what it allows you to do is basically navigate through a document one line at a time, like so. Then you can just put that back to none. You've got text spacing, and you've got, if I put that back, syllables. So that one there is where I was. Then you can read aloud. So it will read out the actual word for you. And I've got my microphone switched off, so I don't want to do that. I'll just stop that. Pause it. And then this read aloud, I tend to add up to the quick access toolbar. It's a slightly different feature, but I do actually put that up there. So that's the immersive reader. To come out of that, you just close it. So that was that one. Now the next one is editor suggestions, which is stuff like this. If I type the word intro and then highlight it and then right click, rewrite suggestions comes up with the editor, which is this feature which normally comes up when you're doing grammar and spelling. But it's giving me some options there that I can have if I so wish. And you can have it read out aloud with the change and without the change if, from these options. So if I select there, in fact, I don't know if I can just click on this because it's already on there. There were moments when, was a time when, there was a a time when so these are just different options within this sentence and sometimes when you select a sentence it doesn't come up with any suggestions that was a fluke that I got that one so let's see if I can pick another one all the energy needed let's highlight that let's see what comes up there all the energy I'll go for suggestions all the power, all the energy, the entire energy. So it's up to you if you want one of those options, but that's what the editor suggestions, or if I right click on it so you can see it again, rewrite suggestions is all about. Just get rid of that one. The next one, and this is not just for Word, this is for all of Office. You've got these stock images which are available to you from the insert tab so if I get myself down out of the way and then go insert pictures normally from your own computer or online but this is the one I want to focus on stock images and then you have a whole array of different categories backgrounds business success etc leaf very very classy looking photographs that you can add into your document or your PowerPoint. I didn't even notice there was a tiger in there, so that's a very good picture. And these are all free to use from Microsoft. So they are from the stock 
images. Now you can also use a transform feature to transform what you're looking at on the screen now into a web page on Sway if you've got an Office 365 subscription, which I have. So if I go File and then Transform, what this should do is transform this to a website, a web page, and then you can you can now select different styles. So I quite like that one. And then if I click transform and that again, it should open up your 365 site and create a web page based on your Word document. Might take a few seconds. So whichever style that you selected, you will now have that as a web page. Next is at mentions, know who is in your document. So basically when you type this at sign in a comment, it will list people in your team or people that you've got the document shared with. And if they're not shared, it will give you a link so you can send it via an email all at once. So to do that, or let's see that, we'll go into an online document that has been shared. I go into it. So the same document. So if I type at in the middle of the document, it gives a list like so, and then you can click on these people. And this person is not currently shared in this document. So I can click this and it would grant him access. Now, if I do a comment, so if I go review, in fact, I can click on comments over here. That's the comment there. Look, and if I do a new comment, you can also just type in there at your list comes up again. This time I will type Tanya and then can you check this and then send a little email straight to her and that will send that to Tanya. So the at sign will automatically list people that's in your team or shared. And like I've just said, if it's not shared, it will give the option to share it. So that's the end of that little bit. That's just some of the things that are new in Microsoft Word. You can check out other things that are new by clicking on the, the help tab. And then you've got these options here, help in general, what's new, and then a pane will appear on the right there giving you any new features that have come out recently um, you can also go to help from there and it will give you the normal help that you would expect to see but that's the end of this little session so I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one